Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Brie. Greg, my husband, is normally right here, but this video I am doing solo today. We have been so busy this weekend, and I'm just going to try to get this video up for you because I am super excited because we're trying a few new recipes this week. I do have to go to Detroit for work, so on Tuesday night, Greg's going to be on his own. We didn't buy like a mass meal for him. We have a bunch of stuff in the freezer. I can like even show you like what's going on in our freezer so you can see what's going on there. But I'm going to make this video. I'm going to tell you what we're going to eat for the week and some ideas to give you. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, hang out, you know, the huge. So first things first tonight. Tonight is actually, it's Sunday right now. So I'm going to try to film this, edit it, and get it up for you guys. We'll see. I am doing my best here by myself, living my best life. So... Tonight, we are going to be making Sweet Savory and Stuff's Chicken Pot Pie. So if you guys follow us on Instagram, which I'll put our Instagram down here, we made this this week. I took a picture of it and put it on the Instagram. Guys, this was so freaking good, like absolutely amazing. And when we were making our list of stuff that we needed to get for dinners this week, I was like, we have to make it again because it was so delicious. So let me break down the ingredients. This is a little ingredient heavy spice wise and just ingredients in general but it is definitely definitely worth it also just so you know each slice like a quarter of the pan is seven points and 130 calories according to her website ours are going to be a little bit different because we couldn't find the reduced fat crescent rolls but that's fine we're going to work with it so i'm just going to walk you through what's in this recipe and yeah i will have the recipe linked in the description box if you wanted to make this this week as well so First things first, chicken pot pie, you obviously need some chicken. So we got some boneless chicken breast. I will say the only thing that we're gonna do different with tonight's that we didn't do like last week is last week we had it where it was supposed to be like cut up into little cubes. And I don't really think that tastes very good leftover. So we're gonna shred it instead. I don't know why, but there's a difference. I Eating heated up leftovers sometimes, I'm just like mm, not a fan of it, but chicken first things first we're going to shred it cook it shred it so first thing you got to do and then the rest of the mixture is pretty easy not gonna lie this recipe takes kind of a long time just because you have to cook the chicken beforehand but after you cook the chicken it is smooth sailing so what you're going to need is some carrots so we just bought this entire big bag of carrots carrots some celery and an onion so that's all the fresh fresh ingredients that you're going to need Literally just go grab bad carrots, grab, grab a stalk of celery and grab an onion. And then you're going to need some one third less fat cream cheese. This is what makes the inside of it taste absolutely amazing. I'm telling you, you're gonna need some, I can't believe it's not butter spray. For some spices, you're gonna need some poultry seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, ground pepper, nutmeg. You're also gonna need some salt as well. And I just, we just have this little thing that we bought that has our salt in it. How cute, huh? So you're gonna need that. And then you're gonna need some garlic. Next thing you're gonna need is some frozen peas. You're just gonna literally throw those in. You don't even have to cook them. They'll cook up as you're making it. You're gonna need some flour. This is just all purpose flour. Some milk. We normally use oat milk, but it I don't know why. It just freaked me out to try to use oat milk in this recipe because sometimes when you use oat milk, I don't think it tastes as good. So we just got this little thing of skim milk. We also made some pudding for something that we had yesterday. We used regular milk instead of oat milk. And then the last thing is crescent rolls. Like I said, the recipe calls for the reduced fat ones, but these are just the ones that we have. So those are the ingredients that you're going to need to make this. And I'm telling you guys, it is so, so, so good. So if you like chicken pot pie, and you like crescent rolls, you will love this recipe. A billion out of 10 would recommend. This is what we're making Sunday night into Monday. And now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be making on Monday. Okay guys, so on Monday night, we are making chicken enchilada bake. This is a new one that we are going to be trying to make from Emily Bites blog. If you guys have been around and been watching these videos, we've literally just been sampling all of her recipes. And I don't think one recipe has put us in a wrong direction. I think we've literally loved every single Emily Bites recipe. They're so, so good. So this is eight points and 270 calories per serving according to her website. We always recommend for you guys to put in the nutrition facts and all that kinds of stuff into your own app 
just to make sure the ingredients that you're using match up with what the app is telling you because we don't want to like have you think it's six points and it's 10 points for you depending on your ingredients so just keep that in mind always put stuff in your recipe builder because that's why it's there it's important the recipe builder is on both the iTrack bites app and the ww app so if you have either of those apps the recipe builders are basically the exact same like literally those apps are basically the exact same so this recipe is a lot less ingredient heavy which is nice for us especially when we're super busy and we just want to whip something up really really quick so I'm going to walk you guys through the ingredients for this recipe. First things first is chicken. It is chicken and gelato bake. So chicken, we just have this chicken breast. That's what we use. Sometimes we like to use the tenderloins, but we use the breast more than anything. You're going to need one egg, just one skim milk, golden corn. This is the cream style corn. Make sure you get the cream style and not the regular, it's the cream style. Some cheese we use the fat free cheese from walmart this is just the mild cheddar cheese i found that some walmarts have this and some don't i'm not really sure i will say if you just go to walmart and look in the giant cheese section just look for the pink label the pink label means it's fat free so fat free cheese this is the one that we use Kraft has one as well but it's super expensive so walmart's the way to go for us some chopped green chilies for spices you're gonna need some red cayenne pepper and some cumin, some red enchilada sauce. You can use red or green. We like the red better, so it's just kind of dependent on what your palate is, which one that you like more. We like the red more. And then this last ingredient is what made me be like, mm, I kind of want to try this. And it's corn muffin mix. My mom used to make this stuff all the time when I was a kid and I love cornbread. So I was like, okay, cool, let's try it. So and it has some corn muffin mix in it. And that's it. That's all she wrote. That's all you need for this recipe. And I think that is so minimal ingredient, especially for something that's going to feed us four servings. So I'm super excited to make this this week. It is new. We will update you guys on our Instagram, what we feel about it, if we like it, all that kind of stuff. So this is what we're going to be having on Monday night. Tuesday night, like I said, I will be in Detroit for work. So obviously I'm not making anything and Greg didn't want to make anything big for just himself. So I'm going to kind of show you some things that we would eat in place you know, when I'm not here, when he used to travel for work, that kind of stuff. So let me put this stuff away and then I'm gonna show you what he may or maybe not eating on okay, Tuesday. Okay, so I have my freezer open. Don't judge us, it's messy. And if your freezer is perfect, great for you, but ours isn't. So I'm gonna flip you guys and show you what we have in here that he can choose from to eat. Like I said, he didn't wanna buy or like make a big thing. You can actually probably see him outside. He's outside with the dogs right now. Oh, there's my ring light too. How cute behind the scenes but I'm gonna show you what we have in here that he can whip anything up on Tuesday while I'm gone. So let me flip you. Okay, so this is our lovely freezer. Wow, lots of hash browns because we're making egg scramble this week. So things that he can eat. Wontons, these Bibigo wontons. We love these chicken and cilantro. They're so, so good. He can whip some of these up in the air fryer if he wanted. We have so many bags of these black and chicken tenders. These are from Tyson. You throw these in the air fryer and they're so good. Pairing these with anything because they're zero points. That's what we like to do. So we have those black and chicken tenders. If you wanted to go the breakfast route, we have some fully cooked chicken sausage. This is really, really good. This is our favorite one. This is from Jones. You can have three of them for 90 calories, I believe. And it's super, super good. Let's see, up here behind all this stuff, we have mini chicken tacos from Trader Joe's. We have Trader Joe's mac and cheese. That's our huge thing of crock pot marinara. Frozen peas, you know, smart cakes. We, <laughs> we tell you guys we stock up on the cheese and we really do. Like, that's all cheese. It's fine. We have some of these mashed potatoes if you wanted to make a mock KFC bowl. Plenty of those fast food fries, tater tots hash browns he could literally the world is his oyster for our freezer so just so you guys know those are some other things that we keep in our freezer as staples just to help us throughout the week in case we do have something like this so here are my ice cream sandwiches the love of my life besides greg oh my goodness okay we're gonna move on to wednesday okay so like I said, we keep a bunch of stuff in our freezer for instances like that when I have to leave or go do something. He is always stacked with stuff to eat. We also have tuna packets that he likes to eat too, but homegirl's not a fan of tuna. It's okay though. So for Wednesday, we're going to be having taco 
puff pockets from Emily Bites blog and they are five points and 142 calories per puff. That is what her website says and she uses the lean ground beef. We're using ground chicken breast in this so ours is gonna be a little less in points just because we're using this instead of the beef. So just so you know, like I said, there are like, mod like modifications that you can make to food to make it a little bit more healthier or like point friendly for you. So first thing you're gonna need for this, yet another one that is minimal ingredient. Your girl likes that. So we're using the ground chicken breast. Like I said, you can use the ground <clears throat> beef, but we're using the ground chicken. You're gonna need one egg, some taco seasoning. We use the reduced sodium. We do not count this as points. You, it's literally just spices. You can count it if you want to, but we don't. So taco seasoning, dried oregano, crushed red pepper, grape tomatoes, shredded cheese, the same exact one I showed you for the last recipe. We just picked this up at Walmart. And then this is the exciting ingredient, puff pastry sheets. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna cook up all the ingredients, mix everything together, put it in a puff pastry sheet, pinch it down, bake it, boom, she's done. It's literally a puffy taco yumminess. And I'm very, very excited for this. It's gonna be super low point for us and super low calorie. The only points we're gonna have to count is this puff pastry. And let's see, it says a sixth of a sheet is 150 calories. So we're gonna have to do our own plug in and chug in in the app with this, but it, her recipe said it's five points per one, and that's counting the meat. So I'd probably say it's probably like three, two to three. That's my guess at the moment. But yeah, we're gonna make this on a Wednesday night. Thursday, we're gonna have our two ingredient dough pizza. So for those of you who are new, we make pizza every single Thursday night. We have a video of how we make it. I'll make sure to link it in the description box. People have been around for a while. They're like, we know what goes into your pizza. We don't need to hear about it. It's literally just flour, Greek yogurt, some spices, crock pot marinara, turkey pepperoni, cheese, whatever toppings you want. Like I said, it's so easy to make and I'll make sure to put that video in the description. So if you're new and you wanna learn how to make it, I'm just gonna put it right there for you. And then Friday, also for those of you who are new, we do something called a no track day, which means we do not track our points on Fridays. So throughout the week, I, Greg's technically not on WW anymore. He is doing like a self, I can't think of the word right now, but it's like a maintenance type situation. Intuitive eating, that's what he's doing. I still am following the WW program or the iTrack Bites. I literally have both apps. I have 26 points a day and I don't go over those points throughout the week. I work out daily so I earn fit points and I also have my weeklies, which I do not use. That is why we do no track Friday. So we eat super, super clean. And then on Fridays, that's like our cheat day, our treat day, whatever. We eat <clears throat> whatever we want. We'll have our coffee in the morning. Sometimes we'll go to Dunkin'. We'll have our lunch. Like last Friday, I had Subway for lunch. And then that's normally our date night, Friday evening. So we'll go out, have dinner, a couple drinks, stuff like that. So that's what we do on Fridays. It's, we've been doing that since the beginning of our journey. It's always worked for us. We continuously still lose weight doing it. And Greg is actually still maintaining because he's not trying to lose anymore, but he's maintaining doing it. I'm still losing doing it. It's just what we've done. You don't have to do it obviously, but I just thought we would let you know that is something that you can do and it's what we do do, do do. Anyway, so, and then Saturday and Sunday, I have a volleyball tournament. It is going to be such a busy week for me being in Detroit and then having my volleyball tournament. So we don't have any for sure set meals because we don't really know my volleyball schedule yet. So we might play in the morning or we might play in the evening. So that is where our freezer meals come in. So we're gonna probably be having some wontons. We're gonna be having some easy fried rice, because we always keep that. We have a really good easy fried rice recipe. I'll make sure to put it in the description box. So we could do some easy fried rice. We could do some wontons. We could do some Trader Joe's mac and cheese with the black and chicken tenders. Literally, the possibilities are endless. So that is the goal for Saturday and Sunday, because like I said, I have my volleyball tournament. Even though it's local, I don't know when I'm gonna be coaching or not. We did buy some bread and some turkey to have sandwiches just to take to my tournament so I'm not eating the food there, but nothing like a big meal or anything like that. 
So these are the meals that we're gonna have this week. I know it's a little bit different because one, I have volleyball and two, I'm also gonna be gone. So we don't have like a lot of new meals, but we are going to be trying two new ones that I'm really, really excited for. And we will keep you updated on how they taste and all that kind of stuff on our Instagram. So if you guys like videos like this, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below what you're gonna be eating this week to give me some ideas for next week. If you're not subscribed to us already, please make sure to subscribe down below. We really appreciate it. Our one year is coming up on YouTube and we are just so grateful for every single one of you. Anybody who watches our videos, we really, really appreciate it. And as always, we just want you to remember that every day is a new day to pop luck and drop those pounds. Bye guys.